Courtney Pont. Tonight, Bishop Amont will be taking on Notre Dame. Both teams are currently 2-1 and one in the Sarah League and are going for a shared title. Fred Robledo and Tom Kiss have information for us on both of the teams. Fred, what do you have for us? Thanks, Courtney. Here's what you got to look for for Bishop Amont. Koa Haynes, he's been their big quarterback all year. He's gonna, he's been the straw that stirs the drink. As he go, Amat goes. These Sarah League games, they've been fireworks from start to finish. It's all offense on both sides. Look for Deontay Blue, Amat's running back to have a big game. Uh, Darren Andrews, the big playmaker receiver. It's a game Amat has to win. If they win, they're in the playoffs. They, they maybe they get a home game next week. If they lose, then they're gonna have to wait until Sunday to find out if they make the postseason. Big game. This is the way it should be. Now we're gonna go. To Tom Kiss, he's going to tell you about Notre Dame. Thanks, Fred. When you talk about Notre Dame, you got to talk about their quarterback, Kelly Helinski. He's already thinking about going to NC State, possibly Colorado next year, a couple of Ivy League schools. He's going to have two backs that are behind him, Kalafani Muhammad, Chris Colarusi, and about four to five wide receivers that he's going to go to throw to. The big thing for Notre Dame is can they stop the Bishbamon offense and give Kelly Halinski enough time to throw the ball? If they do, Amok's defensive backs could be in for a long night because we know they go both ways. This game will determine who's going to win the Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame, traveling to Kiefer Stadium, taking on Bishop Mott. Both teams 2-1 and one in Sarah League play. Playoff berths on the line, possible league championships. Notre Dame is going to kick off, and Deonza Blue from Bishop Mott will field this at his own three-yard line, and he will take it straight up the middle. Busting that wedge all the way down. Amat takes a 7 to nothing lead, but Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame, they've got Kalafani Muhammad, the state 100-meter champion. They got Kelly Helinski, who was 6'6", 225, throwing the ball all around. And Muhammad would convert on this drive. He's going to take it five yards to make the score 7-7. Seven to seven. Bishop Amat would get stopped on their next drive and Muhammad would once again take it 15 yards to put Notre Dame up 14 to 7 at the end of the first quarter. Koa Haynes would lead Bishop Amat down the field but he was finding a tenacious Notre Dame defense. They knocked this ball loose. Notre Dame is going to recover. They're going to drive down to the one yard line where who else? Kalafani Muhammad runs over Deonza Blue for a 21 to 7 lead. Ama would try to come back. Deonza Blue gets this down to midfield. Next play, Joseph Cook. 47 yard touchdown. Here's another angle at it. Wide open in the secondary, cutting the Notre Dame lead to 21 to 14. Holinsky would go right back to work. This on a third down play, getting him out of territory. And look at the speed of Muhammad and the power of that running. You just see it where he just gets to the corner, turns it upfield. He had a big night tonight. Chris Colarusa is going to score on this. It's going to make it 28 to 14 at halftime. Second half action. This was actually right at the end of the first half. Bishmamont's defense gets him out of trouble. And then in the second half, first drive, Bishmamont's defense once again coming up big. Two big interceptions keeping more points off the board for Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame. But Muhammad going right back to work. He takes this down the sideline. He did not score on that play, but Holinsky got the one-yard run that made it 35-14. to Amat would come back. Koa Haynes takes this keeper right up the middle for 15 yards, 35 to 21. And this was a shootout, folks. Muhammad's going to get his fourth touchdown of the night on this three yard run, 42 to 21. Amat down and getting desperate. So they go to Haynes, and Haynes runs it down the sideline, gets in. Makes a score 42 to 28, but it wasn't enough 
your final, 49. Final score of tonight's game was 49 to 28. Notre Dame will take it home tonight. Let's talk to head coach Kevin. This is the hardest part of the schedule. Talk about that. Well, obviously the Pac-5 division. First of all, our league certainly gets very, very tough league. We've had a lot of great players and great coaches. Going into Pac-5 playoffs starting next week. Great teams. Great coaches. Very tough
two and one and two and two overall and they're hoping for that wild card next week. From Keeper Stadium, I'm Courtney Ponce for the Tribune.